tried it all night and they caught nothing. But at the word of God, it says, I abide in your word. I allow your word to speak at your word. I am not speaking, I'm not doing this because I am skillful. But I'm acting at your word because it carries power. It calls those things that are not as though they were. Because you have called wherever the fish is, you have called it to come to appear here. Child of God, act on the word of God. Abide in his word for you to see the fruits of God. Abide in his word. His word carries his agenda concerning your life, concerning your assignment. This is what he said even to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. After Moses died, he says, be courageous. Fear not. He was taught to say, this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. The word of God should not depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. And he told him to meditate. To meditate is to allow your spirit, your mind to mingle with the spirit of God. You allow God to create a mental picture in your mind. You allow the word of God to speak louder in the, in the place where there is negativity. In the place where there is toiling. You allow the word of God to speak. To allow the word of God to sink in you. There is a first hearing of the word. But the second hearing is to allow the word to become, the, to allow the word of God to become part of you. Hallelujah. So Joshua was taught to say, meditate on the word of God day and night. And observe to do whatsoever is written. Whatsoever do according to the pattern of the word. The word of God carries the pattern of God. For you to be fruitful, you need to abide. To stay in the pattern of God. Hallelujah. Say, I desire to abide in his word. I desire to abide in his word. I desire to abide in his word. And he was taught to say, when you observe to do all things, then you shall make your way prosperous. Your life will be fruitful. Because the word of God, the DNA that is in the word of God has become part of you. The word of God begins to produce fruits over your life. Hallelujah. When you see from the book of Genesis, that's where we, be, we see the first mention of fruitful. Where the word, we hear it from the book of uh, Genesis chapter 1 from uh, 20, 28. We see where God, when God created man, the Bible says he blessed him. To bless is to put, to give uh, to give man access to divine provision. To allow man to have access in divine guidance. Hallelujah. So God blessed man and he says be fruitful. Be fruitful. Cause things to be. Cause things to be. Where there is nothing cause things to be. Where there is nothing cause things to be. So the first thing is Abide in the word for you to cause things that are not to become. Right now you're believing God for a job. Allow the word of God to speak in the place where you're believing God. Hallelujah. Allow God to speak in your life. Allow God to speak in your life. Allow God to speak in your life. The other thing that we see in John chapter 15 verse 7. It says, if, my, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you shall ask whatever you, you wish and it shall be done unto you. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you shall ask whatsoever you will and it shall be done unto you. Allowing the, the voice or the culture of God, the, the, the nature of God to be part of you, to abide in him and to allow his instruction to abide in you. It will cause you to be fruitful in everything that you do. 
Whatsoever you ask God, God will grant you. Because you are in him and he's in him. Hallelujah. You are in him and he's in you. One of the things that God wants to do in this season is to remove us from the, from the spirit of toiling. We work like elephants, but we are vests. Like, you know, the work of an ant. God is removing us from that position. If God is in us, tell me, it, it, it has to show. Hallelujah. The fruits of him reigning in us, it has to show. It has to show. The fruits of him abiding in us, it has to show. The other thing that we need to be aware of is to, mind, to be mindful of the company. Do you remember say, the company that you, you keep around matters? Some of us, we have, uh, we, we, uh, we have people that always confess negative things. Others, they discourage you. Others, they will say, no, I've been long in this ministry. These programs, you know, we started them doing them long time ago. It will not work. Just wait. Just observe. Just go down. Go down. Don't, don't rush. We have been here long. You know, when it just started. So this program that they have started to do, it will not work. Just observe. So mind the people that you keep around you. Tell them, say, mind the, the, the people that you keep around you. When you read from the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 1. The Bible says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Nor sitteth in the seats of the scornful, the ungodly, the wicked. But verse 3 says, but his delight is in the law of the, the Lord. His delight is in the word of the Lord. And in his word does he meditate day and night. So, mind the company that you put around you. Some people, they can dampen your spirit. They can dampen, they carry a sour atmosphere. The moment they visit you, when they leave, you find that you, have, you fail to pray. You fail to read the word. You were... You were active in the things of God, but you are not active anymore. Check the company that you are keeping around. Check the company that you are keeping around. If your delight is in the, in the word of the Lord, you will discern, you will know the kind of people that you need to bring around you. Verse 3 says, It shall be like a tree planted by the river of waters that bringeth forth its fruits in its season. And his leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Whatsoever he does shall prosper, shall be fruitful. Because he has chosen to, to, to be in the word of God. To meditate on the word of God. The word of God should be the source of your, your spiritual lifting. The word of God should be the source of your faith. The word of God should be the source of your encouragement. If things are not working out in your life, if you are going through, uh, you have been working, you have been trying, in all that you try and things are not working out, seek God in his word and God will show you what to do. Hallelujah. Say, I decide to walk in his word. I decide to walk in his word. The third point you need to have the faith of God. The God kind of faith. When you read from the book of Mark chapter 11. From verse, from verse 20, 20, 20, 20, 21. We see the time that Jesus just cursed a, a fig tree. And Peter called into to remembrance and to see the, the tree that Jesus cursed with that. And in verse 22, we see Jesus answering and saying unto Peter, saying, Jesus answering unto Peter said, have faith in God. Verse 23 says, for verily I say unto you that whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou 
removed and be thou cursed into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. So the, the, the third point is having the God kind of faith. If you need to be fruitful, because there are places that you may go through a dry season, but God will cause you to be fruitful. One, because you have allowed, you, have, you are abiding in him, you have allowed his words to be in you, and now you are having the God kind of faith. And faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You have chosen to surround yourself in the place where word, the word is being preached. Hallelujah. So the word of God is the source of my encouragement. The word of God is the source of my encouragement. So having faith in God, the Bible says in, in the book of Hebrews 11 verse 6, say without faith it is impossible to please God. He that cometh to him, he that approaches God, he that calls upon his name should know, should be aware. You must be conscious. You must be aware of his praises that God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He's the one who causes his own to be fruitful. Maybe it could be in your business, things are not working out. What God will do, because the Bible says in Christ was light. In Christ was life. That is in John chapter 1 verse 4. It says, in him was life. And this life was the light of men. In him was life. And this life was the light of men. He carries life in him. Jesus carries life in him. In any place where there is death. In any place where there is struggling, the life of God will enter and cause you to be fruitful. In your business, God will cause you to be fruitful. In your work with God, God will cause you to be fruitful. How you can know that you are walking in the fruitfulness of God, joy will be there. There will be evidence of joy. Turn the say evidence of joy will be there. Evidence of joy will be there. The evidence, the other evidence, you have peace within you. The peace of God will be within you. And we, the other thing that will show that you are in the season of your fruitfulness, you will not struggle to save God. When you are given an assignment to do, you do it all at a dream. No complaining because you know the benefits. Because God has ushered you in the season of being fruitful. God is not a robber. Whatsoever you do, God will reward you. I say God will reward you. God is lifting you by the power of his word. It's changing your story today. It's changing your story today. It's changing your story today. The last point is declare, confess the word of God over any situation. Where there is death, speak life. Where there is limitation, speak, I speak abundance. Don't walk by feelings. Be led by the Spirit of God. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Those who have been justified, no accusation, nothing is standing against them. They carry the righteousness of God within them. They carry the righteousness of God within them. So speak, speak in the same chapter that we just read of uh, uh, Mark chapter 11, verse 24. It says, therefore I say unto you, whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Whatsoever thing, you have to speak in the place where there is nothing. You are a product of, of your confession. You eat the fruits of your confession. Whatsoever you declare, it's what you become. Your life is the sum of what you speak. If you are not declaring anything, nothing will appear. Jesus spoke to Peter to say, launch in the deep, in the place where he just fell. 
in the place where he just fell, he said, launch in the deep. And he says, at your word. At your word. He had to speak the same word. At your word. At your word. You have spoken at your word. At your word. At your word. I'll act at your word. I'll move in your word. Your word carries power. Your word carries power to usher me in the place of my fruitfulness. The word of God is a seed. The word of God will never return to him empty. Whatsoever God is speaking, whatsoever, declare, what, whatsoever God declares over your life, it will bring fruits. I see you walking in the, in the season of your fruitfulness. Say, I embrace the word of God as the pillar to my life. I embrace the word of God as a key to my destiny. I stand on the word of God. Yahweh bless you. Yahweh keep you. Yahweh open doors over your life. Your season of toiling has come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the spirit of God usher you in the place of your fruitfulness. Anything that was standing in your word today, we break it in the name of Jesus. May the word of God create a platform that will usher you in the place of your fruitfulness. In your marriage, in your job, in your career, in the mighty name of Jesus. That you begin to bear fruits that never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you be joyful in everything that you do. That God will cause your life to be fruitful. That God will bless the works of your hands. That whatsoever you touch shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give a clap offering to God. Honor God. Give a clap offering to God. Say my season of fruitfulness has come in Jesus mighty name.